what's up? It's your girl Trista here. My coffee is brewing while I'm doing this intro. I need a coffee today. It's 10.30. So I'm here today because I asked you guys, okay, well maybe I should wait for the coffee to continue to brew. So I'm just gonna chill here. I took melatonin at 11 p.m. This is just a quick story. Took melatonin at 11 p.m. and then at, I woke up at 3 a.m. and didn't go back to sleep until never because I went to go work out at 7. So that's my story and I need coffee because I'm afraid I'm going to crash in the middle of the day. Okay, got my coffee. It says YOLO because, you know. We only live once, that's the mock of YOLO. I bought it a while back. <laughs> And I was like, yes, we only live once. Like, really need this cup to wake up in the morning. Anyways, as you guys have probably seen the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be reading your assumptions about me. So the reason I wanted to do this video, I mean, a lot of people have been saying it, like, everyone's doing this video. <laughs> What's, what are the assumptions? Like, I can't believe it. I'm going to prove you guys wrong that you guys are assuming the wrong things about me. And it's not fair. No, I'm just kidding. A lot of YouTubers have been doing this and I just felt like it would be a fun idea to see what you guys assume about me, see what I am putting off into the internet. Cause I don't know, a lot of the time I would like to think that I am super real and honest like all the time, but you know, sometimes it gets lost in the cracks. You don't really know. Oh so yeah, I don't know. I just wanted, really wanted to do this video. I felt like it'd be pretty fun. Most of the comments or the answers that you guys sent me were really, really nice. And like, I really appreciate that so much. Usually I do these polls on my Instagram. So if you guys want to give me a follow, my Instagram app will be right here. So I usually do like a lot of polls, show you guys like my workout outfits because I'm starting this workout fitness journey and I'm so annoying with it but the only reason I'm posting so much is because I really want to hold myself accountable. So if you're new here, hi guys, my name is Trista. I do a lot of lifestyle and college videos, also do a lot of challenge videos. So if you guys like that type of content, then please feel free to subscribe down below. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Let's talk about the assumptions that you guys made about me and I'm just going to be cracking down what's real and what's not. So let's get started with the first assumption. You feel like you're big boned, TBH, IDKY, but I get this vibe when you're talking about your body. Um, I don't think I'm big boned. I know that I'm like a short human. Okay, body image is weird to talk about because I've always had like trouble with my body. Growing up, I um, grew into my body really, really quickly. I remember like in third grade that I knew that my body was different from others. Started growing in like womanly features. Let's just try to keep it PG over here. And I've always just been self-conscious about my body. So no, I don't think I'm big boned. Um, but when I do talk about myself, I know that like I personally have gained weight this year. Um, I gained 10 pounds or not this year, sorry, in 2018. And I fluctuate weight so I mean I'm always like on myself and like trying to like better myself and motivate myself to like work out yeah it's just a constant struggle so that's why like, I'm really hard on myself and maybe I shouldn't be as hard as I normally am but I just know that I could be way smaller than I am I just love food I love laying down <laughs> But honestly, I've been on a really good health kick and I haven't been eating out as much. I haven't been I haven't been lazy. Today I woke up at 7 a.m., which is like, what? Crazy. I went to the gym and that's like pretty good for me. And I feel like I'm going to be able to do that for the rest of the semester, hopefully, and the rest of my life because, yes, I want to be healthy for the rest of my life and I want to work out for the, like, literally, like, it's a lifestyle. It's not just like, oh, I'm going to do this for six weeks and then end it. No, I think I want to do this for, like, the rest of my life and just be healthy and, like, I feel good as a person. So like, yeah, I don't think I'm big bone. Okay, I think that's the short answer. I don't think I'm big bone. But I can see where you're coming from because I do talk down on myself and I think I should stop that. Um, we should all talk to each other or yourselves like you're talking to your best friend and sometimes I just don't talk to myself like I'm my best friend. But I've been doing so much better and I'm just like, you can do it, you rock, let's go. You seem like a really sweet, kind and open-hearted friend. I feel like, yeah, like I, I do try to give like the best advice to my friends. I do listen to my friends as much as I can and like I'm always there for them and like they know that for sure and I'm always there to listen a lot of people say like you're just a really good listener like you've actually like listened and you've tried to help me with my problems but yeah like I don't know I just really care for people like I just want the same thing I want the same thing back so that's why I, that's how I treat my friends like, they have a problem I'm going to answer them I'm going to help them I'm going to listen to them because I want that in return so yeah I would say I'm a really good listener you're a chill person yes I guess that's it. I am pretty chill. Like, I don't really like to do much. Like, 
going to a coffee shop makes me happy and I love hanging out with my best friends like when I'm with my girls it's funny it's hilarious I'm not like as chill as you would think when we're together it's like kind of like gets a little rowdy so yeah that's like the only thing that I'm not chill about but yeah usually I'm just like chilling at my house like being normal so I'm just like kind of like a monotone kind of girl you know what I'm saying but I'm still a cool fun and collected person. You love your family a lot and they're very important to you. I do, I love my family so much. They're so important to me. Yeah, like I have a lot of siblings. I have my mom. My mom is like the most important person to me. We have such a good relationship. We've been through a lot together. <laughs> so, I mean, she's the first person I knew <laughs> and my dad too. Love my dad so much, he's the best. He gives me like great advice. He's like the most calm and collected person I can possibly know. My mom too, and she's just so funny. Like the way I grew up was just so fun because they were so young when they had me, so like that was a really fun plus. My siblings are great. Like I'm really close to my sister. I'm really close to my brother. I'm close to all my siblings basically. Like I'm really close to my grandparents too. So yeah, like I lived with my grandparents for a while, so that was really fun. <laughs> and my uncles. I'm just like my family is everything to me. My cousin. Oh my god, I'm so close to my cousin. Me and him are like the same age basically, so we grew up together. Like he was like my brother. He was like my brother. He's still my brother. We were super close. So yeah, I'm really close to my family. I love talking to them. Even though they're freaking crazy, we gotta love them, you know what I'm saying? Not everyone's family is perfect, so don't even go there. You are very studious. I have to study because if I don't, then I will fail everything. So yeah, like I do do a little bit of studying, of course, but like I don't. I'm more of like a, since I'm an electronic media major, we do a lot of things that are project based. That takes up so much time, probably more time than studying. Studying, like I've never been like really good at testing. I've always been like an average student, like B's all around. Around. like B's get degrees you know what I'm saying I've never been like an all-a student so because I just can't focus like I read it and it's like over my head you know what I'm saying like I'm just a creative person so I need to create constantly I'm, ass I'm assuming you have body insecurities okay let's just clear the air really quick I have struggled with body insecurities since I was like 10 years old developing as a woman and just in general like always had body insecurities like I always felt like I was bigger than the rest because whenever I was growing up I remember like in the fifth grade I think I had the worst body insecurities because um, I wasn't in any sports I my family owned a Mexican restaurant a very popular one in town I would only eat that like my diet like was so bad I just didn't know what to eat and I guess like I was going from a kid to like a teenager so I would I thought like eating like mini Oreos for as a cereal <laughs> was okay. I don't know why my mom didn't just be like, you can't eat this, but I think she felt bad for me because she knew I was like chubby. <laughs> Oh, this is so embarrassing. I was chubby from second grade to fifth grade or fourth grade. I was so chubby, like I wasn't in any sports. I would eat, I, like I said, mini Oreos for a cereal, which is actually a really good life hack, just letting you know. I would eat that every night and then chips ahoy. <laughs> so I've always had body insecurities and I'm getting better at them. I know that I have to work for it. I work a little bit harder than most people because um, genetically, I think my, my thighs are bigger, my arms um, gain weight faster, so I have to just work a little harder than everyone else that's okay like that's just my body type and I have to teach myself a diet that works for me because growing up I didn't really like have that luxury of like being like oh I need to be like on a diet and we're doing better with insecurities like I accept that I'm this way and I I'm happy to help anyone that's feeling the same way as me or it's like a struggle you know like it's not easy if it was easy everyone would be fit everyone would be have the perfect body we're getting better and that's the best part about everything I'm assuming you love your fans. I do. I love you guys. I love you guys who watch my videos. I love that you guys DM me. I respond to my DMs like all the time. Like if you guys have a question, I will answer. Like trust me, like I've answered so many people. <laughs> you would be like, what? Like are you serious? I always like your comments. Like I love you guys so much and like I love that you guys support me. I love you guys like my videos. Um, it's crazy how far we've come, I feel. Like how far I've come as a creator and like as a like social media person, I guess. I love YouTube, I'm happy to be on YouTube, and I'm happy that we get to interact in a way and I get to know you guys by name. It's interesting, it's very like new to me, but it's actually really fun and yeah, you're right. I do love you guys so much. You might be a bit sensitive and you relate to a lot of people, but you're shy. Okay, that was a lot in one. 
I wouldn't say I'm sensitive. I'm only sensitive to the people that I like care about. If something happens to like my best friend or like my mom or like my family, or, that hurts me. Like that will hurt me. But if it's me, then I don't really care. Like I'm cool. Like I can take care of myself. I have really thick skin. Okay, and it says, and you relate to a lot of people, but you're shy. I wouldn't say I'm shy. I think I'm shy in like school or like speaking up about like political topics. Things that are like kind of like iffy to talk about because I really don't know where I stand and I don't want to sound stupid. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'm shy. Like, I'm not a shy person. I will ask you like what time it is if I don't have my phone out. <laughs> like, I don't know, just things like that. I'm not very shy. Nice. You're a nice, kind, hardworking person who puts others' needs before hers. Beautiful girl. This is kind of true. I guess that's where like I go wrong sometimes because I forget to think of myself. Also, like I put a lot of times I put my friends first too, especially if they're like needed even though, oh, in my relationship, Oh my god, don't even get me started. I put the person way too much in front of me and I had to learn that, you know, like you can't always do that because yeah, like in the moment it's okay, but then after a while you're like, okay, like what what am I getting in return? And like you don't really think about it when you're there, but then you get out of the situation and you're like, oh my god, like I should really think about myself too. But it's hard because you love that person. I'm just going on a whole tangent. Yeah, I do put others needs before mine sometimes and I try to work as hard as I can. I try to accommodate to people in my life, but sometimes I just like get run out of steam and just doesn't work out. YOLO, right? Okay, this one. By sight, you look like a stuck up girl, but you're actually so sweet and nice. Blessings. <laughs> Okay, so by side it looks stuck up. I don't know. Can you guys like let me know in the comments like if I look stuck up because that's kind of like bothersome to me. Like I feel kind of sad about that. Like why do I feel like you guys think I'm stuck up? Like what are the traits that I seem stuck up about? Like I don't know. Am I stuck up? Like now I'm just like questioning my life. But he said that I'm actually really nice so. I'm okay with that. Okay, this one's funny. You low-key didn't care about school when you are in high school. <laughs> so I think I thought I cared about school, but like I really didn't now that I'm in college. I'm like, now I know how to study. Now I know like my time management. In high school, like all I really cared about was like being liked and like stupid things like that. Like being in cheer. Like I was a cheerleader in high school. Like I was like so proud of myself. I'm like, yes, we're varsity cheerleaders. Me and my friends were all varsity cheerleaders. We were just so happy about that. Like, I guess that's all we cared about was like cheering. Like, we genuinely loved cheer. We loved dancing at pep rallies. We loved like performing. We loved being at the football games. Like, we were extra as hell. No, I really didn't care about school <laughs> to be honest. Like, I didn't even know what college I was gonna go to until like senior year. And I only applied to like two colleges, I think. Only two colleges. Like, I did not know if I was gonna go to college. Like, I really didn't know. I was like, am I gonna go to college? Like, is this real? Like, I just didn't feel like I was ready. It was all very like pre-mature. It was not something I thought about really. I just cared about like being with my friends and getting by, getting B's, straight B's. My whole college, I mean my whole high school career. <laughs> school was more of an experience than a than doing school stuff. Like I wasn't like I wasn't like pretty hard classes. Like I took 21 hours of college in high school because like I just felt like that's like something like you do. Like I don't know, like I was like, oh maybe I should do that because it, it'll look good, like it'll look good in my, you know resume I don't even know what I was doing like honestly I was just like okay like whatever and like kind of like followed like the smart kids because like I was in theater and like the smart kids were also in theater some of them most of them like most of them were like top 10 were like in theater I was just like be like you know I'm smart too like trying to like fit in like I never just like truly fit in but yeah they helped me a lot like wow like without them I wouldn't even be graduating like with only three classes left like the last semester I'd be like taking like a full load like every semester so shout out to them they really helped me out Thanks for being my friend. I love you. I feel like you get depressed easily because of a lack of support from your friends. This is so not true. Like, my friends have supported me throughout everything. Like, sometimes I do keep things to myself, and that's not their fault because, um, like, I keep it to myself, you know? Like, if I'm not in a good place. Sorry, my camera just, like, stopped recording. <laughs> that's not true. Like, my friends have always been there for me. I choose to not tell them things because I just don't want them to worry about me or, like, anyone to worry about me when I'm sad or anything. They support me. Like, they are, like, always there to watch my stuff. They have not left me or anything like that. They're just still there. It's all good. It's all the same. I've always made videos like since I was 12 or 11 so they know they're just like this is just Trista you know like they support me 
but they don't have to be like on me like you know what I support you I'm so proud of you da 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 like I know they support me I just know like I, I know they love me I know they care about me and they, I know they want the best for me so yeah like if anything I get depressed because of like other things in my life like family related relationship related never really towards them and we talk every day like that's the only stable relationship I have right now <laughs> are my friends so. like I said in the beginning of the video thank you guys so much for answering this um, assumptions thing. I had a lot of fun reading them. You guys are so sweet. A lot of you guys didn't really like give me assumptions, but you just said like, you know what, you're a queen, you're awesome, like I wish I could meet you. I thought that was just so nice and like, I don't know, I'm just, I'm really happy that you guys um, really think that of me or like the assumptions weren't even that bad. Like honestly, they were kind of like spot on. Like I'd say like they were pretty, you know, there. Hope that made sense. <laughs> I don't really make sense most of the time. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Listen to me talk the whole time, just sitting on my couch. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you learned something new about me, comment down below what you learned. And like also, did I say like, I think I said comment down below if you guys think I'm stuck up because I'm kind of like a little bit hurt about it. <laughs> Anywho, again, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so, so much. I'm going to be posting a special video on Friday. Hopefully, fingers crossed, guys. Like, I really want to post this video on Friday. That's, like, my goal. That's why I've been waking up early. So, I don't want to, like, you know, expect nothing. Expect nothing, but just know it's a tease. Expect the lowest form of everything, but just know that it might come up. So, fingers crossed that it does. Please push me. Keep on going. Have a good week, honestly. Like... Have a good week and I'm keep on talking. I love filming. I also got a ring light, so if you're seeing like some cool lighting, like that's why, honey. Bye guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.